elaborate on processes. So for for the layman who's just getting, let's say their New Year's resolution is to develop a process, right? Or to actually think about finances for the first time in their lives. Maybe they've not even consider they've just gone paycheck to paycheck they have a savings account they put whatever they can into it now they really want to build out a financial process for themselves well the first step is really just to come up with a budget and it's said over and over and over again and someday i'm going to write a book called 24 months because it usually takes at least two years for anyone to listen to me but that in and of itself is a process at least i recognize that that's how long it takes for someone to actually listen to good advice. It comes down to those controllable variables that you have, right? The controllable variable is that you right now are healthy and you right now are making money. Uh, The uncontrollable variable is like what happens if, and you can add in your own ad lib to that. Uh, But right now, you know that you have additional income, you should save some of it. It's that simple, right? Uh, Most people don't. And the first step in saving that money is creating a budget. This is how much I spend on food. This is how much I spend on fuel. This is how much I spend on my housing. This is how much I spend on my student loans or any other debts. And then this is how much I make. How much you make is probably pretty easy. You can pull out your pay stub and you can take a look and see, you know, are you overspending compared to what you're making or not? Are you utilizing all the tools that are available to you? Do you have student loan forgiveness options? Do you have, uh, you know, 401k or a retirement plan that you can take deductions on? Uh, and maybe that's part of your, your saving plan. But ultimately, you have to have a budget first. You have to see what's coming in and what's going out. And if there's more money coming in than going out, then you should save some of it. Yeah, so I, we just did a video that will come out soon about uh, – introducing the seven steps of financial planning and the first one is kind of knowing your circumstances right understanding the circumstances of your finances Mm -hmm. of your life yeah Um, those those input variables the ones we were talking about yeah in the video are going to be qualitative and quantitative inputs so talking about new year's instead of having a goal for a lot of people like maybe for myself instead of having a dollar goal i think a good goal is just to create a budget or stick to a budget, right? Yeah. Create a budget. Uh, and, and, and if you need help, that's where you can go for your backup with either a financial advisor or a friend that maybe wants to do it along with you. And it doesn't have to be anything other than a catch up call once a week for a couple of minutes to say, this is what I've done. And this is how I've been more productive. What do you think about this? Uh, here are some changes. They've shut down the place for a month, and I'm guaranteed a job, but I'm losing a couple of shifts. Here are some different thoughts on that. You know, that just keeping forward progress is critical. And in my prior history and with a lot of people I know, uh, thinking about that, doing all that seems stressful, but isn't it? less stressful than the alternative in the long run? I love to say when you're doing a financial plan or doing your estate planning, if you think about it now and get it out of the way, you don't have to think about it again until something (laughs) changes that's substantial enough, right? If you create a will, leaving all your money to your parents, you don't have to change it again until you get married, right? Or find a life partner or... Buy a dog, right? <laughs> so, right. I, that's uh, it's a good way to think about it. 